All right, finishing up this problem now. Uh, we have done everything up through I, so we're starting out with I. Part I says, what are the x-intercepts? Well, because we have this nice picture that they've drawn out for us, we just have to read off our x-intercepts. Now keep in mind, an x-intercept is where it crosses the x-axis. So that would happen here, here, and here. So our x-intercepts happen at the point 0, 0, at the point 4, 0, and at the point 6, 0. Now the next thing that they ask us in part J is, what is the y-intercept? And again, we're going to look at our picture here. An y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis. So that would be this point right here. Our y-intercept then is the point 0, 0. Okay, part K. Part K says, how often does the line y equals negative 1 intersect the graph? Well, the line y equals negative 1 is a horizontal line that crosses through the y-axis down here at negative 1. So if we were to draw that line in, how many times is that line intersecting or coming into contact with our graph? Well, it's happening in these two places right here. So that would intersect two times. Okay, now the opposite of that would be part L. It says, how often does the line x equals 1 intersect the graph? Well, we have to know what x equals 1 looks like, and that would be a vertical line that crosses through the x-axis at 1. So if we were to draw in x equals 1, we can see that it's going to hit our graph in one place. So the line y, uh, sorry, x equals 1 intersects the graph one time. Okay. Uh, part M says, for what value of x does f of x equal 3? So here they've given us f of x equals 3, and they want to know what is x. Well, f of x, if you'll remember, is just a fancy way of saying y. So in this case, they've given us a y value of 3, and they want us to find the x that goes with that. Well, there's only one point here that has an, a y value of 3, and that would be this point right here. So our x value would have to be 5. And then finally, for what value of x does f of x equal negative 2? So they've given us a y value of negative 2, and they want us to find the x that goes with that. Well, there is only, again, one point on this graph that has a y value of negative 2, and that's this point right here. So the x value that goes with that is a positive 2.